know, there are a thousand, a hundred thousand people that can do what I do, probably better than I can, you know, but the reason I'm here is because I've been really, really lucky. But, you know, songwriting is, is a very disposable skill and I don't, it doesn't make me special in any way whatsoever, but I am lucky. Really, really lucky. That attitude came across really well when I saw you a couple of years ago at Kentish Town. You did the telecon show where you played the whole album in its entirety. All right, yeah. You appreciate the fans' reception. Mm. And I've got to actually ask you about the fans because the Numenoids traditionally have been very yeah. a very loyal fan base. And the one thing that I just remember from that gig, one of the many things that I remember was the bellow of the of the Numenoids chanting your name. <laughs> Numa. And it's like, yeah. it was the most <laughs> strange thing to hear at a gig. I mean, obviously you get that with, with other artists, but this was like empowering almost it was yeah, like it's a really tribal isn't powerful it? yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how do you how do you cope with that and and do you communicate with the fans do you like to communicate with them well, well i have uh, i have facebook and twitter and instagram and i do all that you know yeah. I, I don't have anyone doing it for me i do my own website um updates i, I don't have any team around me that does that thing actually that's, that's a slight lie because at the moment where i've been out doing these gigs the the people at bmg have been handing the posts for me um because i've just not been able to get to them no wi-fi on the bus that worked for more than 10 minutes sure and gig wi-fi is notoriously rubbish at the best of time so i had to say look i'm uh, this is really important that these things come out at the right time and, and i can't guarantee that i can do it so if anyone can look after it for me while i'm here doing this then great which so that's what's been going on um but but normally that i'm doing everything you like but to be I'm quite hands-on with it all uh, well it's not a control freaky thing it, it's just um i think it should come from you you know i think if you're talking about what you're doing in your life and what's going on it should be from you it should be your words and your good days and bad days and right days and you know whatever but i i'm not interactive I'm, I'm i'm really not so in that sense i'm not communicating with them in a two-way in a two-way thing it's very one-sided i i never look at feedback on on facebook or twitter don't even know where it is on twitter uh none none of them i don't have any interaction on the website at all and then that might sound a little bit elitist and arrogant but the, the world is full of knobheads if I'm allowed to yeah. say that you know there's a lot of them out there I don't want the kids exposed to it I don't want to read it my ego is I've been doing this my entire life I had no ego to speak of when I started I've got absolutely none now you know I've been all through that you know big rock star stuff and all the people fainting and you know all long long time ago I, I don't need to read about me I don't need to read what people have said about my latest tweet. I could not care less. And again, I don't mean that in an arrogant way. But I don't. I'm nearly 60. I don't care. <laughs> you know, this is what's going on. This is what I did. Think what you want, you know. But that's what I did, and that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And this is a picture of me and my, my wife, and this is me on holiday. You know, this is, I've got some gigs coming up. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It's a one-way street. And I don't need to know whether people think it was a cool picture or whether I look a bit old or whether my kid's pretty. I, I, I don't want any of that stuff at all. That's the problem, isn't it, with social media, especially the keyboard warriors that are just comment on everything in a negative way. You don't, yeah. And it's, it's just not relevant. You cannot breathe in deeply without it offending somebody. Yeah. You know, oh, I don't like the way you breathe in. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just what a, what a ridiculous world it's become to me and so i don't want anything to do with it you know i'm a one-way street it's all going out and absolutely nothing is coming back to me at all i i meet enough fans i do gigs i do meet and greets i meet fans um i'm a very approachable bloke you know if i'm out if i'm at the cinema with the kids and somebody comes up i'm happy to chat sign anything you like of course i'll have a picture taken with i don't care about any of that at all i'm a really down-to-earth approachable person but i do not need to read feedback day in day out you, you you see so many people so many sort of celebrities that have got um oh well, i'm i'm not going to be on twitter anymore why is that then i don't like what people are saying <laughs> so why did you read it <laughs> you don't have to leave twitter just don't read it yeah it's really easy you know R ricky gervais has got the best attitude i've ever seen on on twitter the man is a genius on so many levels just a top top bloke.